guys, I'm Magnus, I'm the guy running this YouTube channel and today I'm going to teach you this uh, drum fill that I just played and the sticking here is very much inspired from the drum legend Tony Williams himself and uh, this is a drum fill maybe not very suitable for uh, you know top 40 or gigs or cover band gigs but maybe for maybe more suitable for the jazz rock fusion kind of gigs, uh, I don't know. Well, anyways, uh, we are talking about 16 notes here, four hits between each beat, and you could play this in a triple field also, but today we focus on the 16 notes. So the first hit we are doing is a flam, and the main stroke is the left hand that we start on beat one. So the flam comes from the right, like that. Um, and the second stroke is on the left hand. The third is also left hand. And then the fourth, the last one in this sticking figure is the right hand on a cymbal and with a kick. You can play it on whatever cymbal you want. I will play it on the right mostly here. So these four hits together would sound something like this. Okay, in a tempo, three and four and So, flam, left, left, right kick. Yeah, a bit faster. Three and four and three and four and okay. So now let's try to play these after each other and we will play them four times so we fill up the bar. Something like this. Three and four and A bit faster, three and four and all right. So, when we get this together, we can start moving the hands around on the toms and maybe do um, the first flam. We will play the right hand on the floor tom instead. So, instead of playing here, we move it here and do this flam. The other hits are exactly the same, so... Okay. Yeah, and I will just mention this, that when, when I'm playing flams in fill situation, I like to spread them out more than what I'm playing in, in a march, march situation, like... They're pretty close to each other here, but when I do a flam, I try to spread it more. I think it sounds cooler and more powerful, kind of. All right, so, so the left hand plays exactly the same thing on the snare and we move the right hand to the floor top. Something like this. Okay. So let's play it after each other. Three and four and Alright, as you notice, know, 
is now when we're getting faster and faster, it would be a bit more tricky with the left hand, the weak hand. Uh, as you play three hits in a row here. And I would recommend to check out the Muller technique because it helps a lot in different fills and phrasings. And in this one, it helped me a lot. So, all right, a bit faster. Three and four and two. orchestrate this however we want. You can play the first flam now on the high tom. You can play you know, between high tom and floor tom. You can play, you know, whatever. So many different ways of playing. I like to play, uh, you start on the snare with the flam. Then you go to the floor and then you go back to the snare flam and then down to the floor flat. Something like this. Three and four and You can orchestrate this in so many ways and as I mentioned you can play you know you don't have to play it on the right like I do you can play like uh, on the splashes or crashes you know it makes more energy more volume wise like that so I hope you enjoy this and have fun with it and um, yeah, thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe and push the like button if you like this lesson and maybe leave a comment. So, have a great day. See ya. Bye bye.